Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it is go time with the one and only Mega Crasher. Let's just jump right into the video, baby. But before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are new here to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications, and be sure to smash the thumbs up for this video. Without further ado, I want to say also my apologies for the lateness here of this video. I just got home from work, but I'm going to get this out as soon as possible. So with that said, let's get on with the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, I hope you guys are ready because we it looks like we have ourselves some really big things coming Hopefully the not too distant future lucky Pokemon new berries Celebi encounters and friend sorting and more oh Man this this looks absolutely amazing. What do they mean by lucky Pokemon? Like well, what are they talking about here? You know and new berries, I, okay, that looks like a silver pineapple berry, you know, like, I, I wonder if that's, like, supposed to be, like, a counterpart of a golden raspberry or something, where it has, like, additional effects or amplified effects, if you will, so, with that being said, let's just get into this. So, yeah, we have ourselves yet another data mine, ladies and gentlemen, that is incredible, so... Lucky Pokemon, a new type of special Pokemon that requires reduced Stardust amount to power up. Official images suggest a 50% discount. What? What? Are you serious? What the hell? Okay. Alright. Let's read up as to what they mean by a discount for Stardust. Okay, this, this is incredible. Okay. Let's start with the lucky Pokemon, as most players will be interested in those. Ha <laughs> ha You're damn right I'm gonna be interested in those. According to the code base, particular Pokemon can be marked as lucky and as discovered by Trails, the network traffic analyst from Pogo Dev Discord. Lucky Pokemon require reduced amounts of Stardust to power up. Check the lucky Chansey image below. Okay, so let's just take a look at this right here. I mean, honestly... I don't even know what to say or what to think. Look at this! Zero Stardust to power up? Are you serious? So, okay. Like, I just... This is incredible. And you can tell right here, like, the background is also quite uh, glamorous as well. I mean, it looks like Chansey is just radiating with a bunch of golden bubbles and stuff like that. And it also looks like it's got a pretty decent IV, too. I mean, 14, 15, 12, so I mean... I'm going to assume that these lucky Pokemon, quote-unquote, are also of high IVs as well. Man, oh man, this is amazing so far, but let's see what else we got going on here, shall we? Alright, so, also the Pokedex is now displaying the lucky Pokemon label. That must be this label right here, the little red marker. I could be wrong, or it could actually be, well, her, der, lucky Pokemon as shown right there. I can't believe I didn't pick up on that, herp, derp, derp. But anyways, which could potentially mean that this feature will be live soon. Very little is known about these Pokemon as of now, but apparently they require a smaller amount of Stardust to power up, and they have the following features associated with the code base. Customized background, animation, and camera effects. Custom counter labels similar to scene slash caught that appear in the Pokedex. Two values that indicate these Pokemon are connected with the trading system. So... Alright, so th these Pokemon, I guess, are somehow connected with trading? I mean, is that how we're gonna get lucky Pokemon? Is through trading or something? Like, I have absolutely no idea, man. This is crazy. So, overall, this is incredibly exciting. Oh, yeah, you're damn right it's incredibly exciting. And it could change the way we think about Stardust a lot. So, yeah, like, what do you guys think about it, all this? This is, this is absolutely nuts. Now... Guys, you want to talk about nuts, alright? We have ourselves a new berry. Surprisingly, a new pineapple berry has been spotted in the APK static assets. So, yeah, it's in the exact same shape as a pineapple berry. I wonder if it's going to be called a silver pineapple berry, much like golden raspberry. Who knows? I mean, this is, this is incredible. So, it looks like not much is really revealed about it, but we can only assume that it is going to have something to do with an even bigger increase in getting candy from caught Pokemon. So, you know how a pineapple berry doubles the Pokemon's candy that you catch from 3 to 6? Well, depending on whether you catch first stage evolutions, it's 3 to 6. Second stage evolutions, which is 5 to 10. And third stage evolutions, which are 10 to 20. 
I wonder if this actually doubles that value right there. So basically, it's like quadruple, or maybe it's three times as much. Who knows? All I can say is that <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. So yeah, like this, this is just absolutely amazing right now, you know? So yeah, this also, I gotta say, it is definitely going to be a great way to remove some pressure from stashing rare candies. Yeah, no doubt. So I mean, here's the thing is that I guess by implication, rare candies are going to be a little bit more expendable, but, you know, don't don't jump overboard just yet, you know, just because I make that statement right there loosely. Just, you know, hold on to your rare candies or put them into Pokemon that is very, very, very difficult to farm candy for, and maybe even not at all. So, for example, legendary Pokemon like Groudon or Kyogre or something like that. You want to dump rare candy into something? Dump rare candy into Pokemon that you can't get, at least not for a while, or if not ever again, you know? So, with that being said, let's move on to the Celebi Encounter part. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes does not deceive you. Celebi Encounter is ready! You've read that right, ladies and gentlemen, right? Celebi is ready for the worldwide release. Now, it doesn't exactly specify when to the date it is going to be released, but... I have a very, very big feeling that it is going to be released very, very soon. I mean, this is just absolutely amazing, you know? So, what are your guys' thoughts on Celebi? I mean, I know that we've seen a ton of Poketubers, a ton of videos of people catching Celebi because they went to Go Fest and all that stuff, and I gotta say, Celebi looks like an incredibly fun Pokemon to have. So, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Now, we also have ourselves more things to go over. So, new features that were outlined in the official change log. You can sort the friends list and add nicknames to your friends. Oh, dear God. Um, yeah, just if you guys have me as a friend, don't, don't name me anything uh, silly, okay? Like, <laughs> I can just picture it already. People are probably going to name me Knee Choke or Shiny Knees or something. I'm already called Shiny Knees to some people because I have an absolute obsession with shiny Pokemon. You can remove gifts to remove clutter from your inventory. Woo! That is actually going to be a pretty solid feature to add right there. Just my opinion though, to save space. But if you guys are active with giving and receiving gifts, well then, you know, storing gifts isn't going to be that big a deal, but, you know, it is what it is, right? You can search for traded Pokemon. That is also awesome as well, but I also marked mine because I also got an 87% Beldum, which I just outright powered up and evolved into a Metabros, which is one of my best Pokemon on my Incineroar 1990 account. Gifts can contain Stardust? Stardust? What? What? Seriously? What? It's just, yeah, it, it, you're damn right it is awesome. What the hell? Oh my god, gifts can now contain Stardust. Dude! Oh my god, dude, are you serious right now? That's absolutely awesome. Oh my god. So, with that being said, like that right there, woo! That just boosted up this update like tenfold big time, man. Because Stardust is very, very, very hard to get. It's so tedious to get your Stardust, man. And I gotta say, it's like really stingy to get sometimes. Because like Niantic, you know, is really stingy with uh, giving us Stardust. Because Pokemon, are like 100 Stardust apiece whenever you catch them. Uh, <laughs> it's just, oh man. It's gonna be really, really good. Point, point being, it's gonna be really good to get much, much more Stardust. And have other ways to get it, you know? So, we also have ourselves some new features that we found in the code base. Two new quest types. So, we got ourselves a quest that revolves around adding a friend, and a quest that revolves around trading Pokemon. So, okay. Uh, that is pretty interesting. So, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. Like, <laughs> that's pretty much all I have to say here. But my god, it's like, this right here is one of the most dopest updates and one of the most craziest data mines I have ever seen. This is awesome, guys. Holy snap! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so as you see right here, we have ourselves some pretty big things coming up, hopefully in the not-too-distant future. Now, with all that being said, I'll leave a link to this article in the description box down below. I should have said this earlier, but I would say better late than never. I usually link all my sources and stuff like that, so... 
With that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And comment down below what you guys think about this right here. I mean, this is pretty wild, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't even know what else to say, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm left speechless yet again, Pokemon Go. Bravo! Seriously, man, bravo. <laughs> you know how to hit one out of a park big time. So, with that being said, I say thanks for watching, and I'll see you next upload.